Welcome back to another episode of 52 Puzzles. Today I'm bringing you another fabulous puzzle. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's called Shipper's Dilemma. And this was invented by John Conway, uh, the famous mathematician John Conway. He spent a lot of years at Cambridge University. Uh, today I believe is at Princeton University. And I believe he invented this puzzle some 50 years ago, but it is a good one. What you have here are 17 pieces that need to be packed into this box like you see here so the lid will go on. Well, seems like it should be simple enough, but when you dump these pieces out, you'll see what we're dealing with. So again, there are 17 pieces here. There are three different shapes. So you have this shape, this shape, and this little cube shape. And what we have here are six of that particular shape, and five of the cube shapes, and then six of these shapes here. So 17 pieces. How do you get them in the box so that lid will come on? So we're essentially having to build a cube from these 17 pieces that will fit in the box or that we can put the box over. Well, I will tell you, it is very, 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 in fact, extremely <laughs> unlikely that you will ever solve this problem trying to randomly build a cube. You have to apply a math principle or at least contemplate the math dynamics of these pieces uh, to solve this puzzle. But you don't need to be a mathematician. <laughs> That's the beauty of this puzzle. It's a very, very clever solution and a very elegant one. It's one of my all-time favorite puzzles. So I'm going to show you the solution to this puzzle, the shipper's dilemma. As always, if you don't want to see the solution, then I encourage you to turn the video off now. I thank you for watching to this point. But if you would like to see the solution, hang in there because here it comes. Okay, so the solution to the shipper's dilemma is very interesting. In order to solve this, we have to uh, take note of what we're dealing with here from a math standpoint. So again, we've got these six pieces that are that shape, six this shape, and five this shape. Well, I'm going to call this the A piece. It is the single cube. I'll call this the B and this the C. And if we look at the B piece, we'll note that the B piece is equivalent to two of these A pieces, the cubes, in, uh, in width. And in length, there are four of these cubes. And in height, uh, each of these is one cube. So two uh, by one, okay, so two, four, six, eight cubes, basically. Each one of these pieces is equivalent to eight of these cubes. With this piece, you see that uh, this is a square in this dimension equal to four of the cubes, like you see here. And in this dimension, there are three cubes wide by two cubes high. So two, I beg your pardon, two, four, six, again, times two, or we can say four, eight, 12. There are 12 of these cubes in each one of these pieces. So, what that means is we have six pieces times 12 cubes each piece is 72 
cubes that make up these six pieces. In these pieces we have eight cubes that make up each piece times six pieces that's 48 total cubes that make up these pieces. And then of course we have the five cubes themselves. So 72 plus 48 plus 5 equals 125 cubes. So 125 cubes is, is what, what's the area of the cube that we're building. Well, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So the dimension of the cube that needs to go into this box is going to be essentially five of these wide by five high by five deep. 125 cubes. So that's important to note. The other interesting thing that's important to note is with regard to these two pieces, if we take this piece and we lay it down in this direction vertically, it covers two of these cubes. If we lay it in this direction, it covers four cubes, right? And if we lay it in this direction, it's going to cover eight cubes. Imagine I've got three more cubes there, and it'll cover eight. So regardless of how we place this piece, it's always going to cover an even number of cubes. With this piece, same thing. If we place it in this direction, it's going to cover four cubes. Right? And if we place it in this direction, it's going to cover six cubes. Imagine a sixth cube there. Okay? So, again, regardless of how we place this, it's always going to cover an even number of cubes. Well, we just got done saying that our cube that we're building is going to be 5 times 5 times 5. Well, that's an odd number of cubes. 25 cubes in one layer is an odd number. And because it's a cube, again, if we're looking at the cube from the side or the top, it doesn't matter what angle we're looking at it from, there's always going to be a 5 by 5 grid. So that is the key to solving this puzzle. From that information, we know that each layer of this 5x5 five five grid is going to require one of these cubes. And that's, what, that's where the elegance comes in. It's such a beautiful puzzle. So let's go ahead and solve it so that you can see what this looks like rather than trying to visualize my gibberish. <laughs> okay, so the solution to this puzzle goes like this. I'm going to use the lid as the base or the tray. You could build the cube out here on the tabletop, but it's easier to use the lid. Again, the cube's going to form a little lip sticking out of this box that that lid will go over. So this works fine. First step to the puzzle is to take this first cube and place it in this bottom left hand corner like you see here. Then I'm going to take this B shaped piece and I'm going to lay it flat right next to the cube like you see here. I'm going to take another B shaped piece and lay it on its side like that. Then I'm going to take one of the C pieces and I'm going to lay it flat like you see and then another C piece and lay it vertically in the frame like this and then finally another B piece and lay it in this direction in the back. So we have created our first layer if you can imagine that we've got parts of additional layers here but the very first layer that's touching this lid is complete and it's complete because we have this one cube in this spot right here. Again, all these other pieces are occupying an even number of, of squares, uh, 24. This is the 25th. 
So the rest of this puzzle lies in these steps I'm about to take. This is where the beauty of the puzzle comes. Remember, we have to have one square in each layer and in each um, dimension. So vertical layer as well as horizontal. And that'll come together in a second here, what I'm talking about. So the next step is to place the next cube stepped back from this, but one level up. And then the next step is to step back one more and come up. So it's going to go here, followed by stepping back and coming up, going here, and then the last key is this one. Again, stepping back, coming up. And that, my friends, is the key to the solution to this puzzle. It's so beautiful. You have this step up in a vertical format, um, or diagonal format, diagonal vert vertical, <clears throat> um, of these cube pieces. So if we're looking down, you know, if we peeled away each layer, we'd have one of these at each layer. If we're looking at the side, we've got one in each layer going this dimension. And if we looked at it from this side, we've got one in each vertical layer going that direction. So that is, uh, that is the key to solving this puzzle. The rest of it is pretty easy. It goes like this. So we'll take uh, one of the C pieces, lay it flat in the back like you see here. I'm going to take a C piece and lay it vertically. Um, I beg your pardon, I'm going to lay it flat here, not vertically. Take a C piece and lay it vertically here. I'm going to take a B piece and lay it vertically here in the front like you see. I'm going to take this C piece, lay it flat here. This B piece vertically there. And the last piece, this cool looking piece, horizontally here. And there you have it. The solution to the shipper's dilemma. I love that puzzle. Oh, such a cool, cool solution. I really, really love this puzzle. I'll tell you, it's a it's a level five puzzle in my book, honestly. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's very, very unlikely that you're going to solve this puzzle by randomly trying to build that cube. <laughs> uh, but if you study it well enough, you'll notice the what makes you know these shapes unique relative to uh, the cube that we're actually trying to build so and again you can just set the, the box over it like that and uh, and it fits in the box the shipper's dilemma good solution time on this one i would suggest is probably going to be an hour or more uh, honestly unless you're a math professor <laughs> then I would hope you might solve this sooner <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed the puzzle today it's one of my favorites if you did please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe I'm trying to grow the channel 52 puzzles it's my intention to bring you a new puzzle at least one every week. So again, thank you. Until next time, enjoy your puzzling. <laughs>